every single business owner has made this mistake. Just her cut was 3,000 because without passion, there is gonna be no success. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. I was recently thinking about, huh, like what would I've wanted to have known before starting a business? And I think this is gonna be very beneficial for you guys that are wanting to start a business or are still in the beginning stages. So if you guys are new here, I'm Christina. I own Karache Cosmetics and I also created a entrepreneur platform called Build a Brand where I write articles, I talk about strategies, marketing, um, social media growth, and and a lot of mindset stuff to help you really be successful. On this channel, I do a lot of lifestyle, some business stuff because that is a part of my life. So if you want to stick around, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the good stuff. So one of the biggest things that I feel like we all kind of need to really acknowledge is the different types of businesses that you can start. So what I mean by this is, is it going to be service based? Is it going to be product based? Not every single business has to have a product or a storefront or, you know, it, it could totally be so many different things. Like I can tell you from my own experience that when you create a handmade product, you're going to need some help or you're going to be totally exhausted because it takes a lot of work when you get an order it's something that you have to make and it's not anything that you just get in and then you ship out so keep that in mind when you do a handmade product based business but what I really wanted to talk about is just like the difference in businesses so if you want to start a business but you're like oh I don't know what to sell or what is gonna be trendy what you don't have to have a product based business I started another business Business that is service-based because I write articles and kind of share my knowledge and experience on build a brand and that is not a product that is a service-based business and now like social media managers a lot of freelance work is becoming really popular like you can get jobs on Upwork you can get jobs on Fiverr you can start your own copywriting business like whatever you want there is so many opportunities to really start a business it doesn't really have to be product based so I would just suggest that you really think about what you would really want to do what you're super good at skilled for and passionate about because without passion there is going to be no success in your business and that's honestly the straight truth I wish I would have known the differences and known that starting a business doesn't have to be product based and that it can be service based I get a lot of you guys asking me I want to start a business but I don't know what to sell and I'm like you don't have to do product The next one is to learn how to scale a business. This is something that I really think that a lot of us need to understand when we do start a business because I feel like we we want the success. We want to be able to have so many orders we can't handle it, you know? But I think learning how to appropriately scale your business is going to be very helpful within your journey because you don't want to scale it too much too fast where you kind of just like lose it all and you also don't want to be way back here where you're not really progressing anything at all and I understand that within scaling a business you have to have that capital and sometimes that's just so hard to come by I know I've heard it, it's like a crazy um, kind of term I call it the richest broke person I think it's totally true when you're starting to scale a business because you're making all of this money like you're you're making 10,000, 15, 20, 30,000, but you're like actually broke because none of that money is actually going towards you. It's going back into the business. And so you are like the richest, poorest person. And I just know that like cash flow, when you don't have it, it's really hard to scale the business. So I wanted to share with you guys this program called Claire Co. They actually help founders like you and I build their e commerce store. This program is more than just funding capital, they're able to provide 
so much value with businesses along any journey. They're able to provide you insights, so they'll give you business metrics against your competitor. They're able to give you a business valuation so that you can see how much your business is really worth. And they have an amazing network of agencies, platforms, and services that will help benefit the growth of your business. I would have loved this program in the beginning because I would have been able to hire on some help during my busiest times and also invested into marketing. I believe I looked into marketing and I did a consultation with this girl and she wanted just her cut alone was 3000 a month. And that's not on top of any like paying for the ads or anything like that. And so I was just like... Yeah, this is this is tight. Like I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with my organic traffic So I would have loved this opportunity if you guys want to check them out as well Then I'll go ahead and leave them in the description down below as a resource for you guys The next thing I wanted to talk about was and I feel like every I mean like every single business owner has made this mistake and i'm telling you guys it's so much better to sell out than to have way too much just sitting on your shelves and that is to just honestly buy less inventory i wish i would have known this because i have so much extra pigment extra materials that i no longer use because I discontinued those colors and it just really sucks because they were not cheap at all and it's not anything that you can like easily resell or return so it's just a bummer and I really wish that a lot more business owners kept that in mind when they are doing their business because it's not like it's a sign that your business is not like successful because you're not having these huge restocks or anything. I think you're just being a little bit more smart with it and placing your money elsewhere where it would be more beneficial than just sitting on your shelf. So here is your reminder, just buy what you need and you know what you need, you know what you need. So just buy that, sell it out, buy some more. The next thing I wish I would have known when I started a business is to look for different avenues of traffic. Like there are so many websites and platforms now that you can also be on. And I really wish that I would have explored that a little bit more rather than just hitting up social media and having my website. I feel like there's just a ton of different opportunities out there for you guys to really take advantage of, bring even more traffic and awareness to your business. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Clear Code. That's gonna be down there in the description box for you guys. Subscribe, leave a comment, like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. All right, bye.